everyone and welcome back to episode number two of UK politicians living underground in oxygen not included. Uh, episode number one was interesting. We've kind of got the basics of our base uh, set up. We did have a, a slight issue in that um, basically a dam burst and allowed the water that filled up the majority of this space in here all came through. But thankfully, um, it effectively had a journey to make by just falling down into here. So we've now got a very lovely and large reservoir of water down here, which will in theory, sustain us for, I would think, a fairly considerable amount of time. Um, I don't know how many tons of water is down here, but it's got to be, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 tons, something around that. Um, so that's all down there. We have got a new politician ready and waiting to come in. We're going to just hold for a moment until we get some of the um, the planting situation sorted. Um, we've got a couple of algae terrariums being built now. Let's get underway. Um, and Liz is still suffering with with hypothermia, but she will recover in just a minute and a half. Um, everybody else, I think, is okay. He's sopping wet. Uh, he is about to come out of that. That is going to disappear, so all of those th things will improve. Uh, that is also going to drop, so actually sopping wet and hypothermia will also disappear reasonably quickly. Uh, we've run out of power. So again, this is another reason why actually, the, the, I suppose with all types of games like this, when it's sort of survival elements, I'm, I'm thinking of games like, uh, I don't know, like Frostpunk is a game I always like to use in examples for anything, to be honest, because it's so damn good. Um, but you've got this risk reward, right? Because you need more people in because you've got more jobs, you're expanding, you've got more, uh, more resources together, you've got more things to do. So to do that, you need to get more people in, of course, but of course you've then got to feed them, you've got to house them, you've got to make sure they have enough water, make sure they've got places to uh, increase morale and medicine. It's it's this sort of ever-expanding, you know, it's sort of like the two bars, it's your colony's needs are going up, which means the workers have to come up, but then the, the, um, the sustainability of our colony in terms of providing for them also comes up. So you can't raise one without raising the other two. That's why I hit the microphone. Um, so it is tricky. Oh, this guy's very constipated. That's not worked out well. Uh, there is no power though, but uh, thankfully Boris and David are on the scene. Rain drops keep falling on my head. There we go. Boris and David. What an effort. What an effort, lads. Give yourself. Boris was very happy. David less so. Okay, right. So we are going to get... We need, need to think about getting some plants up here. We are at the end of cycle four, or about to be at the end of cycle four, which is fine. They've got dry living spaces again. Uh, oxygen wise, everything is still okay. I mean, deliberately so, we've left this alone and left, left this for where the, the carbon dioxide will, will, grow, will go down. Hopefully this one here is gonna help sort out the uh, carbon dioxide that exists over there. Little tiny, tiny pockets of carbon dioxide is absolutely fine, we can deal with that. And there is nothing going on over here, so there is no real risk to, to health over there. Um, what we are going to do now, though, is we are going to make a ladder to go up there. Um, we are going to dig there, like that. And then we are going to bring tiles across, like so. What is a bristle blossom? Can you, can you eat it? It's not illuminated, which is why it's not growing. Bristle blossoms produce a bristle berry, a prickly edible bud. 1600 calories per unit. So that could be uh, that could be useful. Probably worth digging out that as well. Giving ourselves some more room. We have got seeds, I believe. We've got blossom seeds. Or bristle blossom seeds there. Which we need to um uh Where's this sweep? Sweep. Storage. Ah, oh, right. It's store, it's, they're not picking it up because we have no storage. So we need a... We need a storage bin. Where are we going to put it? Uh, we, could put, we could just put the storage here for now, couldn't we? Because we, we don't necessarily need to put anything else here. All right, put four storage bins, because trust me, that, wo that won't be enough. Um, but before that... Boris Johnson goes and sleeps in his corner, you noisy bastard. David Cameron and his trust can finally have a good night's sleep without being sopping wet or being woken by the sound of Boris Johnson uh, thinking of his next lie. Are you honest, Prime Minister? I think you, yes. In the morning, there is much work to be done. We've got muckroot. 
can be harvested for a single food serving. Um, so we've got meal lice, we've got tofu made from nosh beans. Fuck, do you make nosh beans? Um, do we need, I mean, I'm assuming with the research, so we're currently working our way through that. Where's food? Do we need to think about getting this? Grows one plant from a seed. Okay, what's the difference? Can be used as a floor tile and rotated before construction. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we've got a table and an egg cracker into cooking ingredients. That's kind of cool. So maybe we do need to think about this. Because at the moment, I mean, I guess we can harvest it and it goes in the ration box and then we just eat it, right? I was thinking about like prep food preparation. Because if we like harvest this, for example, so if we were to convert that plant into a seed, that's fine. But if we just harvest that, in fact, harvest, harvest that and that as well, it gives us a bit more food. And hopefully we won't have to uh, eat such horrible food for a great deal longer. Right, is today the day? I think it might be. Shall we bring in our new our new person? Uh, if we, a care package of a ton of sandstone we could use instead. I think we have enough of, of that. Let's take a look at who we've got. Uh, tidying, one strength, decorating, two creativity. You're also good with agriculture. So these are actually more useful. They have more stats than the base ones we had. Um, cooking speed is better. Decreased food morale bonus. Um, a food morale bonus allows duplicates to receive morale boosts from lower quality food. Uh, so actually he's... Because of his increased cuisine, and maybe he's a bit of a foodie, he gets more upset at eating shit quality food. Um, and he also hates having bad decor as well. That can, uh, that can affect him quite heavily. Um, and he throws up whenever he's stressed. Okay. Moving on. These, this guy is all about the farming and the ranching. Doesn't want to use machines. He's all about using his hands, right? He has no interest. He's a bit of a caveman. He's a bit of a, uh, you know, bit of a farm, bit of a old school farmer, you know, everything with his hands. Determines the duplicate's mining speed. He's no good. Yeah. No good with any of that stuff. He just wants to look after animals. I think he's like some kind of like... Like shepherd, or maybe some kind of like uh, what do they call those? Uh, I don't know. Moving on, <laughs> I can't think of what it is. Uh, and over here, we've got construction, also good at operating machinery. Um, hang on a second, good at operating. What the fuck? Well, that's just stupid. They're interested in operating machinery. But they can't use it. That just counteracts one to the other. It's literally the exact same stats the other way around. That's so dumb. So literally, this person comes in. It's like, yes, I can do that. But actually, I'm no good at it. I mean, that could easily be less trash again, couldn't it? Who are we going to go for you then? I think the fact that you've turned up and said that you can do something, but actually you're absolutely shite at it and actually can't do it. I mean... There's probably quite a long list of politicians we could choose here, right? Actually, do you know what? I've got the perfect one for this. Keir Starmer. Is that how you spell his name? Uh, the I and the the other way around. Somebody who loves sitting on a fence, shall we say. He turns up, he would say one thing, but actually then just, just as quickly turn around and say, actually, no, I've changed my mind. I can't do it. So they are literally operating at a zero level. So they've gone up. Then they come back. They've gone up, then they come back. And they always end up in the middle because he just sits on the fence with freaking everything. So welcome in, Keir Starmer. So why is she still here? Well, graciously overlook the fact that you have uh, bobble hair and appear to be a female. And of course, we now need another bed, which is fine. Uh, right, let's quickly sort the priorities out. So... Um, Keir Starmer, what are we good at? Construction. I love it. Where's the operator? Yeah, it's literally... 
<laughs> oh, so good. Here's a skill point I can use. He earned a skill. Oh, here we go. He earned a skill point. What shall we give him? What do we need? Keir Starmer is interested in improved construction and will receive a morale boost for doing it. I mean, we can probably give him a, a little boost here in the operating side of things. Because I think we do need somebody who can do that anyway. So as funny as it is, let's actually make make him useful, shall we? Uh, oh, where's he gone? Where's... Right, back up here. He's just, he ain't got another one, has he? Did that not save? How do we get to his... Oh, he's, he's currently learning it, right? So it doesn't, doesn't happen straight away. Okay, fine. Uh, right, so... Cooking-wise, we'll make you our... As before. We'll leave that... Like that. Keir Starmer will be the cook of the group, as and when that time comes. Um, construction skill is five, so we'll, we'll we'll give you construction skill. Yeah, that's fine. Best five three. Yeah, so that, that's that's fine. Um, and anything you good at anything else? Co uh, cooking there, we done. He's gonna be okay at operating. We know that's coming, right? So let's lower the priority of that for everyone else and allow Kier to take that on as of when he finishes learning his new skill. I don't know. Does he just run, run around and that happens? Oh, he's doing it now, look. It's like the Matrix, he's being plugged in. I know Kung Fu. Show me. Look, look, these are already... Oh, hang on, filter's not de designated. Um, for now, we're just going to tell it to go all. Oh, I'm not particularly bothered about... Um, about any of that. We'll just put it all in. I only really want that because I want to get these seeds in a bit lively. I think all of this is just general resources, isn't it? So that's fine. We can get those in. Unfortunately, they are going to have to go beneath the water, which means they're going to get wet again, which will, which won't cheer them up. Uh, these are, is this mealwood lice? It is, which means we might be able to do the lice loaf, um, which won't reduce morale. Um, quality grizzly, quality terrible. So it's slightly less shit. But it does produce, per loaf, it's over double the calori calorific content. Caloric? Calorific? Caloric? Caloric? I don't know. You know what I mean. Seems to be taking its time over here, getting rid of this... Uh, I wonder if we just do we just dig down here and, and allow the um, the carbon dioxide just to run down under here. And it is beginning to creep up now the carbon dioxide. Just creeping up, isn't it? Look, it's creep and it's creeping across. So maybe we put in since you don't actually need. any of that stuff we can put that in there i reckon we might actually be able to get rid of that one because if all the carbon dioxide suddenly just decides to sink down we might be all right we'll leave it there for now just in case there's any stuff that kind of lingers around um but yeah i need you guys to go down and get these seeds please because we need to get the food situation off and running um, so we'll have a planter. Lots of planters up there for the time being. I don't know how quickly these things grow, right? So we may need more. We, ne we may need many, many more of these. I simply don't know. How much water is here? Can we, uh, can we mop this water? We can. All having to hold their breath in there, although there's a little bit of breathable oxygen just in the corner. What's that? What happened? What happened? Oh, research, research. They're all cheering. I wonder what they were cearing for. Right, here we go. So look, we can plant mealwood. Plant. Okay. 
Okay, you're in the way. Mealwood. Plant. Mealwood. We've got four of these, so we could do, do this and then get two more planters in afterwards. Uh, and then when they go ready, we can put the, uh, the, the bristled blossom things in there. Okay. Bristle blossom, plant. There we go. Right, do we have somebody who's doing farming? Do we have somebody who's good for agriculture? Yeah, it's Boris. Where is Boris? What are you doing, son? We harvesting... They're doing the uh, the mopping at the moment. But annoyingly, they're having to continually mop because the water is still trying to get across from over here. It's still kind of overflowing a little bit. You might be fighting a losing battle here. Mate, this may, this may be a a team a team effort to get the water level low enough that it doesn't keep overspilling onto the uh, onto the tiles. Who do you think actually out of the out of these four? Out of Cameron, Starmer, Johnson, and Truss, who do we think would actually be the most equipped to deal with like a situation such as this where they find themselves, you know, living in kind of weird circumstances and, and areas, right? I don't actually know. Right, we've got the lights right. I think we should go... Do we need to be careful of morale? I'm just wondering whether or not we... As I go during downtime, we could do that. Gases, I think, are still okay. I don't think we need to worry about gases just for the moment. We will have to worry about plumbing at some point, right? Because if we want to get actual properly sanitized uh, lavatories and sinks and showers and that kind of stuff, we're going to need to do this first. So that's definitely something to consider. I wonder if we just go... We've done that. Um, maybe we do plumbing next. Or do we do gas? Let's do ventilation. We'll do ventilation now. Um, could really, really do with Boris not doing these other jobs. Is this priority thing not really helping me right now? Okay, maybe we need to do it like that. Very high priority, so we need to maybe do it in a different way. Right. Irrigation. So they're not irrigated. How do they get irrigated? Is that just a job for someone to do? Do they need fertile? Oh, they deliver dirt. Okay, they need to say everything needs dirt. They will also need light, though. This is the problem. These ones apparently... Mealwood, mealwood. Mealwood. So these ones need fertilizer. Breathability at 93%. Where are we struggling? These things... Oh, look, like there's a lot of carbon dioxide down here now. Where the fuck has all that come from? Right, so that ventilation thing we've just done is going to be important. So we are going to have to look to try and pump some of this carbon dioxide somewhere else uh, with a, before too long. So we're going to need... Some kind of ventilation in here and here or vent in there. We're going to need to take the gas out of there and feed it. Somewhere over here, maybe. Where all this other polluted stuff is. No, we're, going to to, we're going to have to make a bit of a plan there. Um, it's, you know, it's... It's, it's obviously a, a bit of a long burn. There's obviously a lot more carbon dioxide here than there is anywhere else. Is there... A particular reason that it's so bad here the carbon dioxide levels is it emanating from from here somewhere just trying to see like what why is the, the amount of carbon dioxide is it purely just the um 
the amount of oxygen that they're expelling is causing the problem. But I don't know. Maybe this is just something that kind of happens. Right. Uh, right. Food. Uh, sorry. It's not food, is it? It's furniture. Get some ceiling lights in there. Does this output horrible, horrible water? Yeah. Produces five kilograms of polluted water per use. So at some point we're going to have to also deal with polluted water. Uh, I don't think we have any polluted dirt right now. That's okay. Uh, right. Should we have? A, should we get some flower pots down? Have a little flower pot up there. Just put some flower pots down. I don't know... How's a single plant with a sown with a seed? So we need something to go in there. Um, get some more lighting. How much does it does it give us? Only the lamp actually provides a, um, a decor bonus. There we go. Do these need... That's a good point. Do they need... Uh, they need power. Power requirements 10 watts. Okay, right. We may have... We may have just gone a bit mad on the lighting if they're all going to require... Are they all going to require wiring as well? Yes, they are. Shit. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, this is a... This is... This is a problem. Who made a mess? Is he peeing at me? Boris! Yesterday, we had a piece of cheese. Boris, no! You disgusting man, the piss is falling down the stairs! I always knew Boris was a bit of a wrong un. Uh, oh, is Liz Truss and a skill point? She has. Uh, you are like just our go-to person for construction, right? So I think it makes sense that we give you an additional boost in construction. We are growing wheat more competitively than the Canadian prairies. I think that uh, makes sense. Uh, what have we got in here? We've got 25 kilos of muck root. Um... Okay, that's okay for the moment. We do need to get these lights here are kind of the, the important ones to get going first. So these are the ones I want to cable in first. Okay. Lots of wiring to be done. I think we are going to need at least one more battery. I think we're going to need... When next time we get a duplicate and we get one in, I think we're going to have to find somebody who maybe is... Uh, has, I don't know, he's like some kind of ex-sports star. Uh, right, David Cameron. Your doctor skill is already really good. If I remember rightly. Doesn't tell us what it is right now. Um, is there a... Mm -mm -mm -mm, what would it be? Design. Doesn't appear to be any actual skill that seems to be directly linked with... Uh, I mean, would it just be operate operating then? Might improve tinkering. No. Um, requirements duplicate operation duplicate. 
that's fine. Does it say... It doesn't seem to suggest what particular type. The only thing I can see is the duplicate operation thing there. It doesn't seem to say what uh, industrial machinery. Yeah, we know all those buildings are in there. Uh, manual generator. Literally just going to tell me what's on that, isn't it? Skills, priorities. Is there anything up there? Generate power. So it is. It's operating. Okay. So if we go back to our skills for our dev, Boris Johnson's got a skill point as well. Uh, okay, so operating, and that's Keir Starmer. So Keir Starmer should be better at it. Forgot that he was doing that. Um, improve farming. Yes, we'll do that for Boris. That's fine. Um, okay, we'll, we'll allow David to, to um, do it, because it gives him a, a, a morale boost. At the moment, morale is something that I have have ignored a little bit. I wonder if that's going to be too light, or too bright, rather. Right, everything's powered, everything's lit. Okay, right. That solves that one for now. And we can't... I can build there. We've got one light on, so at least some of that's being, um, being done. It may mean that we have to almost make a gap. I think they're eating better quality food as well, which is good. They're not too concerned now, thankfully. Uh, how are we doing down there? Oh, we are seeing some improvements. Okay, that's good. As algae thingies are working slowly but surely. Mild exposure. That's okay. We can deal with mild exposure. We may have to... How much light does that give? Not a lot when there's no power. I think we are, mate. We are probably going to have to annoyingly de de deconstruct that one and maybe that one, and then put them either side. And replace that one there, and then we're probably put that one on that end. Not temperature, light. Annoying. We can't see it right now because all the lights are off because everybody's, uh, you can, if we're, oh, he's okay, he's washing his hands, I was going to say. We have got four beds, they can all sleep. Um, right. Progress is a little slower here. We're almost through on that. Which will be less, which we can potentially, we don't, have we not got any more dirt and water or something? Is that what we're, uh, have we run short on dirt and water? We do so have also a lot of polluted dirt and a lot of polluted water. Now, where was the liquid stuff that we can do? Gas filter. Here we go. Sieves one gas from the air, sending it to a dedicated pipe. You can do the same with that. Right. That's the fil the filtration system was what we were looking for. Right. So raw ore may give off thingies then. Using sand, so we need we'd need the distillation to do that. Okay. The electrolyzer, which can do convert water into oxygen. I can presume it would just give us a lot more of the stuff. Yeah, it's very sad that we're having to do that, but it's not a great deal I can do because we cannot get to the ceiling. As things stand. So 
So now the planter box goes there. We do that. That should enable us to then go up and get access to the rest of the uh, ceiling lights and pipes and all that kind of stuff. Right, this one. Meal would see plant. How long does it say how long they take to? Doesn't say how long they take to actually uh, grow. Because once we got those sitting lights in, in th we, I suppose we could, in theory, actually now put put something back in there if we wanted to. Right, everything's done now. So now we're just into sort of uh, general... Oh dear, what's up with you? It's got food poisoning. Time to recover one and a half life cycles. That might mean he starts being sick and stuff, which is not, uh, not ideal. Plant the briar seed there. Plant the briar seed in there. Deconstruct those. Deconstruct all these other pieces of the ladder. Like so. Oh, that's not got any uh any light. Okay, that's we can we can deal with that. We can deal with the light there. Because we can actually get access to it. Why it just did that. Right, okay. I don't know how whether we need more planters than this. I am going to risk putting two more planters in there and getting a whole and getting some more in. I do feel like the you know the more we have the better. Uh, where was the, um... I've got ventilation now. Science, the science is done. Nice. Right. Everyone's doing some good work. And we're practically now out of... Jobs, effectively. There, there's, there's now, um... We're just into the general day-to-day -day tasks now, I think. But we'll do it. We'll, we'll begin the big cleanup. I think that's now something that we can look to do. Right, that should be them targeting to clean up everything that's in there now. And then start to put it into storage. Uh, right, can we have a look at morale then? So, duplicate plus one, two shift break plus one, interesting skills learn plus one. Last cycle was decor was ugly, so it gives a minus one. Grizzly meal minus one. So, does total morale one, and they need one, is means that they're, they're being satisfied. Okay, that's fine. Um, per cycle, they need 1,000 calories, is that right? Not sure. Not eating anything today. Health is all fine. And only moderately tiny, tiny, tiny stress levels. So I think we're uh, we're in a decent spot right now. Uh, right, let's get some um, plumbing on the go. We have a lot of polluted water. Is that all sat in there right now? Yes, it is. The majority of it is, and there's also some polluted water sitting around. We need to find it. Is there something in the plumbing? 
empties uh, liquids back into the world. Right, we need to find a dumping ground. We need to... Uh, it's going to have to be... I mean, look, this looks healthier over this side, doesn't it? Apart from whatever the fuck that is. And the chlorine gas and the hydrogen gas that's in there. Um, but over here, it looks quite bad. There's a lot of slime, although I think slime can be useful at some point. Um, we've got ventilation. Now, we should think about maybe doing something with this. Do we look to start pumping gas away? We've actually tidied this up really nicely. That algae to anything has done the Lord's work in there. I feel like maybe we should look to um, to take here. Releases gas from gas pipes. Carries gas between outputs and intakes. So does that mean that we can choose this? Is this an ink? Draws in gas. Okay, so this is this is what we're looking for here. So we want to draw in the gas from here. Carries gas between inputs and outputs. Gas bridge. And the ventilation... So where do we want it to come out? What have we got down here? These are all horrible places. But then, I mean, gas pressure is a thing as well. We'll find, you know, sometimes this one, max gas pressure. Does that just mean that there's just... Becomes idle when area reaches maximum pressure capacity. I think that just means that there's maximum oxygen, so it's just not working. So we can act well. If let's disable that, we we'll stop it from using um, power. So do we? Where do we take it from? And we also need a gas pump down here as well, don't we? Um, so we'll do gas pump. Uh, put it somewhat centrally. We'll have to see. We maybe need more than one down there. Um, where do we release it? It's heavy. Don't forget, right? So. This is all polluted water. This is all crap down here. Um, I think maybe this is a decision for next time. Maybe we'll finish this off next time round. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching episode number two of what UK politicians would do if they were buried underground. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.